um, I'm very grateful for, for your time. Right. Um, quick one, just, just, just tell me, um, Kenya um, wants to bid for the 2025 World Championships. Uh, share with me um, why Kenya wants to hold the World Athletics Championship. Well, we, not that we want to bid, we have already done the bid. Uh, this, this, this thing started quite some time back in 2019, uh, 2019 during the World Championships in Doha. Okay. That is when we showed interest uh, for, you know, to, to host the World Championships in Kenya in 2025. So it has been a process. From that time, there have been so many discussions and so many interactions and consultations uh, until where we are today. So we have actually done the bid. And the team, the panel of um, uh, from World Athletics um, that was coming to site visit to see the, 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 the facilities that we have were here last, last, the last two weeks and we took them round and now they are going to write their report and present it to the council, World Athletics Council. That is now when it will be decided whether we will win or not but of course we are confident, we are very very confident that we are going to win. So that is where, that is the, that is the, the, far, the far we have come from. And of course, the reason why we are, we are doing this is because we have done almost everything that is supposed to be done. We have hosted the World Cross Country here in Kenya in 2007. We have hosted the African Senior Championships here in Nairobi in 2010. We have hosted the World uh, Under-18 uh, Championships here in uh, Nairobi in 2017. And uh, last year we hosted, last year 2021, we hosted the World Under 20 Championships. And so we have, been, we have come a long way. And, and, and this is the time that we believe that um, we have built enough capacity, that we are ready and we can host, or we can, um, uh, host the World Championships in 2025. So that is why we are doing this. Why should Kenya be the preferred choice to host the World Championships in 2025? It is not, we did not say it is a preferred choice. It's because of the interest that, 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 that we have in Kenya that we always want to host. You know, you must, show, you must show interest. Not only the interest, but you must also convince your government that they are ready to support you. Because there is nothing you can do without the support of the government, without the guarantee of the government. That, they, you know, that that championship can come to the country. So you must work very, very closely with the, your government so that you have got total support, total support by the government. Africa has never hosted a World Championship before. Um, we can talk about Africa hosting the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Africa has, Africa has opened the under-20 uh, World Cup football in Egypt. You have hosted the under-20 uh, uh, Blessed Championships as well. But this will probably be the first time if Kenya is given the nod to hold the World Championship, this will probably be the first time. What would it mean for Kenya? It will mean, it, it will be great, I can assure you, because you go into history by hosting the first event or the first championships where it has never happened before. So it will be history for Africa, it will be history for Kenya, and we are very proud to be in this particular situation, that we can create that history, and that we can give the, you know, we let the, the history um, be, be written even in the future that something happened in Kenya and we happen to be the, the, the ones who did it at that particular time. So we, uh, we want to the support of Africa as well. Talk about the, the support of Africa. I have two, two further questions before, before uh, I, I, I wrap up the conversation. Talk about the support of Africa. You, you, when you were delivering your speech, you had mentioned that it is important the rest of Africa throw their weight behind Kenya to hold the World Championship. And then again, you mentioned about having government backing. Do you have the backing of government to hold the rest of the world in 2025? And why should the rest of Africa throw their weight behind Kenya to hold the championship? As I, I, I told you from the beginning, you cannot, you cannot um, host a world, an event, yeah. an international, call it any international event, without um, the support of the government. So in 2019, before we showed, or before we even applied to World Championships, to show interest in hosting the World Championships in 2025, first of all, we had to brief our government. We had to give them all the details, what is required, what are the, um, you know, what are the resources 
that are going to support <laughs> this particular event. And we did all that. That is why when we, gave our, our, when we showed our interest, we had to go with a letter from the government as early as that. That is five years ago. So the government had, you know, you know um, already was aware. We had briefed them. Uh, and, and they gave us a letter of uh, support. So we took two letters, a letter of application and a letter of support from the government. So that is key. You cannot do anything unless you go anywhere. And then now after that, we had to rally the African countries to support this event here in Kenya because we, we, we are the ones who... Who, who, who took the, you know, who took the, 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 the decision, yeah. and, 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 and we need the support. I wish another African country then would take the, the another, you know, decision like that and show interest so that we can get more of this. So, uh, when the um, World Athletics came, uh, team came to Ghana, uh, Kenya, to take a look at um, your facilities so far, what, what were they expressing? Were they impressed with what you have so far? And did they see the potential of Kenya a successful event. Um, I, I want to say that they were very happy because I'm not just saying uh, uh, because, because I, I saw their comments or anything, but even when they went back, they actually wrote to us and say they were very impressed with the facilities that they saw in Kenya, with the welcome that they saw they, they, they met in Kenya, with the cooperation that Kenya has, and even by meeting the government officials, which gives them the chance or the confidence that we are working together with the government. So uh, that is what they have said, and it is in writing, I'm not just saying. So we believe that they were quite happy and they were impressed. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.